Well, now it's finally time to talk about actually riding the horse. You know, the difference between the groundwork and the riding. In the beginning, groundwork starts out all about the horse's eyes reading your body language. So it's a visual reading body language. Then when we get into exercises like the wrap and starting to long line the horse, now it's about visual plus what they feel in their body. But once we get on to ride, it's all feel. They're not seeing body language anymore. They're just feeling it. So the most important thing to address about riding, whether it's starting the young horse, the first few rides on the young horse, or any horse, it could be warming up the Grand Prix dressage horse at the show. The most important concept is to never twist or turn your body or pull the reins against the bend. So here's what I mean. If that's the hindquarters of a horse, and we see the spine coming through the body from the hindquarters, and up there is the head of the horse, we would all know from our classical training that this is the inside of the bend. We would know once we get up trotting that this is the outside diagonal that we would be posting up and down with. When a horse's spine is in a right bend, and the right is the inside and the left is the outside, the right bend can turn to the right. The right bend can leg yield from right inside over to the left. A horse can turn right, or laterally move like a leg yield from right to left. But what this horse can't do right now is turn left. It can only turn right. In order to turn left, its spine would need to become straight. The spine would have to go straight, and then the spine would have to be placed from the leg into a left bend to go left. So what I'm emphasizing here is a right bend cannot turn left. And why this is so important to know, what I haven't shown you yet, is where's the arena walls? Where are the corners? Here they come. When we're riding horses, and especially the younger horses, they are almost always on their own naturally in contrabend, counterbend. So when we ride this horse into this corner, our mind might be thinking, turn left. But the horse knows, this is really the inside, this is really the outside, and the only way a counter bend to the right can comfortably go left is with a right leg yield. The worst thing you can do to a horse when riding it is when it's in a counter bend on the wall to be kicking it here thinking that's the inside leg. We see it all the time. You've seen it. You've seen trainers and riders kicking a horse aggressively saying you must respect my inside leg. But the horse knows this is not the inside leg. This is the inside leg. So to ride the young horse and make them feel comfortable and both respect us and trust us, we push from what really is the inside leg of the counter bend. We align so that our spine, your novel, stays contra right here between the horse's ears, spine on spine. And the only way this right contra bend can go left is as a right leg yield. Now stay with me for a moment. Follow this. If we think this is the inside leg and our body is trying to turn the horse left, we are incredibly stressing the spine. So as you're watching this, I'm sure you can rewind the video in your own mind and you've seen horses very upset in corners in arenas. It's because riders are twisting the horse's spine against the bend. Just because we're going left does not mean left is inside. You can sum up this entire concept with this. Traditionally, the horse industry views inside and outside as the direction of travel. 
Just because you're going to the left does not mean your left leg is the inside. The inside and outside aids into a horse must be defined as the bend of its spinal column, not the direction of travel. And when you get on to ride a young horse, it will always start when it goes near the walls and the corners in contra. In fact, most of the mature senior horses are still doing it. And even if we go into a round pen and we start for those first few rides in the round pen, the horse is still going to be contra. This is the inside. So on a round pen or in an arena for these first few rides or to warm up any horse when you first get on it, Read the horse's spine so you know inside and outside according to the spinal column, not the direction. When young horses are ridden for the first time and they're ridden according to their spine and there's no hands pulling against that bend, they relax because the rider is pushing them out of the corner in alignment with their body. Not trying to push them into the corner out of alignment with the body. Con contra horses, counter bent horses require counter riding. Every time your horse is bent the wrong way, everything you know about riding just flipped. It's like looking in the mirror. If you part your hair on the left, when you look in the mirror, it's on the right. When we ride contra, which all young horses are in, the inside of the horse is the bend of the spine, not the direction of travel. So let's take a look at how Eric is doing that on spirit. So here we see that spirit is indeed contra to the wall and that Erica is using her right leg, the leg near the wall, as an inside leg. This is not a left turn you're seeing. This is a right leg yield. And as we see her do this, you'll notice Spirit is starting to become a little more relaxed in his neck. He's wanting to lower and stretch as Erica rides corners. Look at this. Not turning left in this corner. Right leg yielding in this corner is working with his spine. And to come off the wall in front of us into the arena is a right leg moving him over. It's not a left turn. And I'm going to, in a moment, ask Erica to make a mistake. It won't be a big one, and it'll be one that's happening all the time with riders. Erica, in the next corner, would you gently use your hands to turn left, please? And let's watch what he does. <laughs> 